A fire devastated the community at the Pines of Parrington apartment co complex last month. 18 apartments were destroyed and 65 people were displaced as a result. Today, Senator Samer Brock, along with media, took a tour of some of the apartments to give tenants a voice. They say they've complained about numerous issues over the years that have gone unresolved. Christian Garzon was on the tour with the senator and tenants and joins us live now. Christian. Well, the senator says this is about ensuring residents here can reside in a place that's livable. Utilities that work, the elimination of mice and insects, working appliances, and fire alarms that are up to code. Some people here don't even have fire alarms in their apartments. We went into apartments earlier and spoke to tenants here who are complaining about a number of issues, problems that date back years. One woman who wanted to remain anonymous claims to have mice in her apartment, grass growing on the rug, black mold and a missing fire alarm, things she says she's brought up to management for years now to get fixed. While no one would speculate on the cause of the fire last month, they feel more are willing to listen to them now and get these quality of life and safety issues corrected. I want them to know that they are making people live this way and treat people this way. It's inhumane of them. They don't even treat their dogs or their cats or any animals like that, like this, but they're treating us like that. Before that fire, you know, my team had been working with residents here around some of the things that needed to be fixed, frankly, um, just to make a place habitable. And so um, having the chance to actually go through and, and see how some of these folks are living and hopefully at the end of the day to, to really hear their concerns. And Senator Brooke is holding a virtual town hall with residents now. We'll have more for you at 11. Live in Fairport, Christian Garzone, News 8. Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. News 8 did reach out to the property owners for comment and have yet to hear back.